So in your school you teach both freediving, you teach yoga and you teach yoga for freediving. So of these two disciplines, uh, there are some common ground, there are some differences, but how do you see that these two are complementary for each other? I think the main way is that the way that it brings the mind up. So for example, when we're making some yoga postures, you know, you move into a posture and your body's screaming at you, ah, my ligaments, <coughs> so your mind comes up. If you can just relax and just try to witness that feeling, you can just relax the muscles, you can relax the ligaments or whatever the thing is giving you pain, and you can try and work something out in between like and dislike. Yeah, just see it for what it is, basically. So yoga brings the mind up, the idea is supposed to do that, but it takes time, a lot of time for people to notice that. Free diving also brings the mind up, but I like to tell students, it's like a slap in the face. <laughs> when, you, when you free dive, actually everybody's got the capacity to free dive to 20 meters, I really believe that. But most people, when they go down, after two or three meters, they, they, oh, they have to go up to the surface because their mind comes up. Yeah, their mind puts a block in there and says, oh, I can't do that. That's not for me, or I need to go up, or they panic. Yeah, something comes up there and they have to go up to the surface. If you can just take a hold of your mind in that stage, we call that the flight or fight syndrome. So when that comes up, we either fly or we stay and fight. Now you can do either one, it doesn't matter. But as long as you do that consciously. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to develop your conscious awareness in free diving as well as yoga. Yeah, it's the same thing, yeah? conscious awareness. So in yoga we stay focused and concentrated, in free diving we stay focused and concentrated. When the mind comes up, that's the key right there. When the mind comes up, especially in free diving, what do I do? Do I panic and go to the surface or do I stay calm? and just witness what is coming up. Ah, there's the urge to breathe. I still know I've got plenty of oxygen left in my body. Yeah, we read it in the manual, in the training. We still know we've got plenty of oxygen left in the body. I'm gonna go up nice and eat. No panic, just nice and relaxed. I start to go up and I end up on the surface. So for me, that is the main, the main thing. Of course, then there's other things, you know, like breathing exercises. A lot of them are very similar. But for me, the main thing is to notice the mind. Yeah, a lot of people, they go through their entire life, they never even notice that their mind is one thing and they're something else. Yeah, they just get led around by their mind. Yeah. Time to fly, react. Yeah, so instead of reacting, we try to get the people to act, yeah, to act consciously.